Hello, Divine Feminine. Welcome to your weekly reading. So, Divine Feminine, I'm going to pull on some energy. We're going to start off with some overall messages, love, and then career. So, I'm not going to prolong anything. Not all of these messages are going to resonate with you. You know, some um, portions may resonate more than the other. Just take what does and leave the rest. If you would like a personal reading or distance reiki healing services, the information is below in the description box. So, let's tap in, shall we? Spirit, give me some messages for the divine feminine. What would you like for them to know? All right. What is this calmness? The inner divine is the witness of all remaining still and quiet, even during intense turbulence. So take a deep breath and then say, quiet my mind, dear Lord. May your peaceful calm take over me. So yes, God can always give you peace in the midst of the storm. Some of you may be going through a storm right now. But know that trouble don't last always. Everything that you go through is for a purpose. It's only to help you um, evolve, to create some changes in your life. I heard a blessing in disguise. So something is a blessing in disguise, Divine Feminine. Give me another energy, please, for the Divine Feminine. Overall messages. Ooh, abundance. Beautiful. Divine Beloved, please show me how to feel fully deserving to receive. I release my ego's plan and open to being a vehicle for abundance. So yes, letting go of your ego, letting go of control, and just simply allow. Allow things to happen for you, Divine Feminine. Allow God to guide you. Let's get some more energy. Spirit, give me some more energy for the Divine Feminine, please. Okay. So I have, I don't have to fear my fear. I can use it as a way to get closer to love. So yes, do not operate in fear. Um, I'm getting triggering, Divine Feminine. There could be something that triggers you. But allow love in. I'm hearing Yolanda Adams open my heart. So some of you, something could deal with like your heart chakra. You need to open your heart to receive. Open your heart to love. Don't hold on to fear of rejection. Embrace a new beginning, a new season. Give me one more for the Divine Feminine, please. Okay. My greatest spiritual shifts don't come through force. They come through freedom. Yes. So you cannot force change, even if it is positive. You just have to go with the process. You know, nothing happens overnight. Um, change takes time. So, again, allow. So, God just really wants you to allow. Don't try to control it. You know, you will get where you need to be at the right time. So, let's go ahead and tap into some more energy for you. Spirit, give me some more energy for the Divine Feminine, please. energy for the divine feminine okay so i have mind your business tell me more for the divine feminine oh endings okay and then lastly we have i am declare who you are so i feel like for some of you you're definitely taking back your power and with this mind your business you're focusing on yourself i heard i mind mine and leave others alone okay so i feel like i'm also hearing like um attitude of gratitude so i feel like for a lot of you you are i'm also hearing in the gospel song his gratefulness um I am grateful for the things that he have done. So I feel like you're practicing um, more gratitude. Spirit says saying your affirmations, praying more. It's like you're just turning the spotlight on yourself and where for some of you, you could have been bogged down with um, other people's issues. You're no longer doing that. It's just your focus on the business that pays you, which is yours. You're closing out a lot of cycles in your life at this time. And it's like, it's 
allowing you to take back your power, declare who you are. It's allowing you to get back on your throne and be very confident. I'm also hearing like embrace newness. So for a lot of you, you're about to be experiencing a huge shift, a major change in your life. But again, don't force it. Just simply allow nature to take its course. So let's go ahead and tap into some love messages. Spirit, give me some love messages for the Divine Feminine, please. Love energy for the Divine Feminine. Okay. So I have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. We have the Nine of Swords and we have the Queen of Swords. So heavy on the air sign. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you could definitely be an air sign and be dealing with an air sign. I feel like for some of you, um, you're in an energy of cutting someone off, um, walking away. I'm also getting like there's something tragic, like a tragic event. I heard harmful. So like with this Queen of Swords, there could be somebody like trying to harm you or trying to harm your person. So just be very mindful because it's like with this Nine of Swords, somebody's like all up in their head. Like if you look here, the paper's being burnt up. Like somebody's just um, in a very chaotic, drama-filled mind space or head space, I should say. Um, somebody could be a delusional. Somebody could need like professional help here. So just be very mindful. Somebody could also be trying to entice you or your person when it comes to sex, getting them to like sleep with them. Yeah, somebody's doing all they can. Somebody's reminiscing a lot over the past, looking at past photos, like tearing things up. Somebody is like having a breakdown here, a complete mental breakdown. So let's go ahead and get some more energy. Tell me about the magician. I cannot make this up. Uh, look at what I have. Conflict, cold, obsessed. Obsession and addictions, yeah. For some of you, this could be somebody you drink with, party with, just have a good time with. Um, I heard um, here for a good time, not a long time. So this could have been just a sexual situation, friends with benefits situation. But it was a lot of drama with this person, a lot of arguments, five of swords, energy, disagreements. And it's like somebody just turned cold. Somebody kind of, you know, turned off their feelings, their emotions or whatever feelings and emotions they had for this person or you did. And it's like now somebody wants to kind of entice you with this magician. Now somebody, you know, is kind of trying to conjure you back into their life somebody could also be doing some type of manipulation mind games trickery for some of you this could also be actual you know spell work somebody um i heard like a seer somebody could even be getting readings done on you but somebody is just completely obsessed with your energy or obsessed like with your person's energy somebody is you know really not able to let go somebody's toxic give me some messages for the nine of swords tell me about the nine of swords please yep compromise and opposites you know what what i'm getting with this compromise and opposites like this person's mental state goes up and down like one minute they're happy um and then the next minute they're sad this person could like suffer from like um bipolar disorder but somebody um i heard like something with levels here um this could be like levels when it comes to like um you know chemical imbalances but somebody just isn't all together tell me about the queen of swords for the divine feminine I cannot make this up. Toxic 
slash crazy. Yes, somebody is just not all the way there. Somebody's kind of like, you know, if I can't have you, no one else will. Yeah, somebody could be kind of volatile here. Somebody also is like a stalker. Somebody could be looking like on your profile or your person's profile, like um, hacking accounts here. Like, yeah, somebody just cannot relinquish control. Somebody has like a win at all cost mentality. At the bottom, I have non-committal. Yeah, so somebody was like going to play your energy. Yeah, sex. It was just all about sex. That's it. Nothing else, but somebody wanted more. And now, like, this person is dealing with, like, <laughs> I'm hearing a lunatic. That's what Spirit said now. Spirit said a lunatic. Yeah, somebody, like, with this reconciliation, somebody wants to be back with your person. The main thing, you know, um, the main person in your life or in, you know, this person's life here. So let's clarify to get some more energy. Spirit, give me some messages for conflict. What is this? <laughs> the will of fortune. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, like ever since either you've been with this person or, you know, this other energy has been with this person, things have not been working out in their favor. They have been experiencing like a lot of bad luck, a lot of karma. Things just have not been coming together. And I'm also hearing like this person does not have any peace. For some of you, you could be a Sagittarius or dealing with a Sagittarius. But yeah, it's like life was not balanced. When they were dealing with this energy or when you were dealing with this energy. Tell me more about cold. Okay, what do I have here? Yep, the king of cups in the reverse. Yeah, somebody has turned ice cold. Someone has completely cut off their emotions or whatever emotions they had. Somebody's done. Somebody's being firm. Somebody is just like, no, and I mean it. Somebody's not playing with this person. Somebody, you know, sees what's going on here. I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune, like somebody's just trying to create a lot of like drama, a lot of mishaps for this person. Um, for some of you, this energy could be trying to affect your finances or this person's finances. I'm getting like career, something about career. I'm also hearing like work together. These two people could work together or have worked together in the past. That's how they ended up meeting. I'm also getting for some of you, they could have met like through a mutual friend um, or at a party. You know, take it as it resonates. But something does deal with a third party here and then, you know, meeting this person or getting into some type of situationship with this energy. Tell me more about obsession and addictions. What do I have? Four of swords in the reverse in the moon. Yeah, somebody, I heard haywire. Somebody's going crazy. And this can clearly be seen. Somebody is stressed out. Somebody cannot hide it. I feel like people are starting to see the truth when it comes to this energy. Look at this. The Nine of Swords. Again, somebody is up all night. Somebody is stressing. Somebody is worried. Yes. Um, somebody wants to sleep with you or sleep with this person again. Somebody's trying to use sex to get back into this person's energy. Somebody, again, could also be trying to affect your work or um, your person's work or um, trying to, I heard, like, come to someone's job where they work at and start drama. Yeah, somebody's literally trying to alter someone's life here. Um, interfere with their progress because it's kind of like, you know, if you can't have me, then I'm going to make sure nothing goes right in your life. Again, I heard lunatic. Yeah, somebody's dealing with, <laughs> look what came out. The Knight of Swords. This person's very angry. This is somebody who will lash out, who would attack. For some of you, this person could be physically aggressive. But the one thing here about the moon, Cancerian, Pisces energy, it, it can now be seen. I feel like this has been hidden for a very long time. Um, 
somebody has been able to kind of like fly under the radar but it's like this situation triggered this person so badly that now they can't i mean it's they're all out in the open like people can now see i heard deranged you know just how unstable this person is for some of you with this five of pentacles this person could be experiencing a lot of loss a lot of lack in their life which is making things worse for some of you, it's like, you know, this person, yeah, they work, they have a job, but it's kind of like they don't have anything to show for it because they're in the Five of Pentacles, you know. For some of you, this person went from the Eight of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles. They could have lost their job, lost a home, but somebody's having a lot of misfortune. And then look at what we have, the Tower, Scorpio Energy, yes. There's a lot of upheaval, chaos, a lot of endings in this person's life at this time. And, you know... um, hurt people hurt people so it's kind of like if everything's going wrong in their life then um why not make someone else's life miserable i'm not happy why should anyone else be or why should this person be tell me about compromise and boundaries for the divine feminine death scorpio energy yeah so something's coming to an end here yeah a major cycle is getting ready to close out i feel like um with this queen of cups somebody could be dealing like with the water sign here um pisces cancer scorpio feminine five of wands but there's going to be some type of fight or altercation that ensues or that is what this person is planning. Because if you look at this Queen of Cups face, like she looks very mean, um, kind of cold here. And she's going to end up being in this Five of Cups, you know, feeling remorse. Because there's something that this person is planning to do. And it's going to create drama. For some of you, this may actually be like a physical fight here, some type of altercation, like this person wants to stir something up, but they're going to end up in remorse. I'm also getting with this five of cups, like this person wants to create so much drama and upheaval that they want to leave you or this person in the five of cups, leave this person, you know, um, hurt they're hurt emotionally so they want this person to feel how they feel i'm also getting with this five of cups um either you or your person they regret even like dealing with this energy for some of you um they could have a child with this person this could be the mother of their you know child or children as well let's get another energy for compromise Give me another energy for compromise, please. Somebody, I heard somebody like flat tires here. I can see somebody, I heard like paint, trying to mess up someone's paint job, like key their car, like bust out the windows. Like this somebody who like, listen, I'm going to do it all. Somebody feels like they have nothing to lose. They have nothing to live for. Again, that's that mental health here. Yeah, the three of swords. And the star and judgment. So somebody could end up passing away. And I feel like with the three of swords, it's going to be painful. Yeah, I'm hearing in the upper room, the gospel song. Tell me more about this three of swords for the divine feminine. The three of swords for the divine feminine, please. I 
I feel like also with this three of swords and death, like there is no compromising with this person. Yeah, the eight of wands. Yeah, for some of you, like with this Five of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Magician, somebody's been doing some type of like conflict magic. Um, been trying to create a lot of upheaval in your life or this person's life. Somebody could have actually been working with spell work or going to a practitioner. Like somebody wasn't above doing whatever they felt they had to do to get what they wanted somebody's going to be receiving some news about someone's passing here and someone's going to be heartbroken by this tell me by this news you know obviously regardless of like you know who a person is or what they do, you know, they still have people that, you know, love them, care about them. It's just, you know, sometimes people kind of make permanent decisions based off of temporary emotions. Tell me about death, please, for the divine feminine. But something is definitely going to hurt here. Tell me about death. Where do I have the page of pentacles? So somebody could end up sick. Somebody could also be trying to give you something or give you a person something to make them sick. Yeah, somebody wants either you or your person to pass away. To like be fighting for their life, literally, strength, Leo energy, ten of wands. Yeah. Somebody wants to either give you something divine feminine or give your person something to make you sick. So just be very mindful. I would say to keep your distance from this energy. Give me one more on this eight of wands before we move on to toxic slash crazy. Give me a message for the Eight of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So yeah, this person is upset because either you want to be single or um, this other energy wants to be single. Somebody could also be trying to like ruin you. Give me one on this Queen of Swords. Yep. Somebody's trying to ruin you. Somebody wants someone burdened. So either you or this other energy here, but somebody wants someone to pay. <laughs> that's what i just heard somebody wants either you to pay for what you've done for the hurt the pain they feel or they want your person to pay for the hurt and pain they feel but somebody has to pay that's how they feel that's how this person you know views the situation views life it's like if i hurt and i feel like it's because of you then you have to pay for my pain not me taking time for myself and going to heal no, I don't want to do that. I, I just want to cause chaos and confusion. Tell me about toxic slash crazy for the divine feminine, please. I feel like for some of you with this mind your own business, like you're just focusing on your love, on your <laughs> life. And it's like this person is trying to, you know, bring confusion to your door here. 
somebody doesn't want you to have peace because they're not at peace within themselves. Tell me about toxic slash crazy, please. What do I have? The Knight of Wands. Yeah. For some of you, this person is stuck on the sex. Yeah, the love making here. Somebody is sprung. T Pain. I'm sprung. <laughs> somebody is sprung, okay? Like somebody like, uh uh, I got the habit. No. Give me another message for toxic slash crazy. For the divine feminine. What do I have? The Nine of Pentacles. Somebody likes to overindulge in sex here. Somebody could actually have like some type of sex addiction. Yeah. Somebody can't get enough. For some of you, this person sleeps around a lot. And just going back to this page of pentacles, like, um, if you were sleeping with this person, just make sure, like, you go get some get checked out here. Because, uh, you know, I'm hearing, like, STD for someone. So, yeah, just make sure you keep up with your health. Because somebody overindulges a lot. Tell me more about this nine of cups for the divine feminine. The queen of pentacles. So for some of you, this could be um, someone that you were married to, your person was married to. Yeah, somebody was definitely stuck in a situation. The hangman, Piscean energy, stuck taking care of someone. Um, tell me more about this Nine of Cups energy. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody was taking care of someone and over giving to a situation. Nine of Cups. Overindulging with this person. Um, for some of you, like this was transactional, like, you know, sex and I give you money, I pay your bills, however, you know, it went. But it's like now somebody is stuck in the Four of Pentacles. Somebody may not have enough because they were giving to this energy, taking care of them. And then I'm also getting um, somebody is now holding back their money, their finances, resources from this person. Somebody's holding back their time, their energy. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. Somebody's now refusing this person. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands, please. For the Divine Feminine. What do I have? Yeah, the Page of Cups. So somebody's going to try to come in and offer sex. This person is, yeah. They're going to try to come in and offer sex. You know, be very mindful because this person could be coming in to try to get pregnant here or say that they're pregnant. Yeah. I feel like with the full Aquarius energy in the tower, like this person, they take a lot of risk. They take a lot of risk. This person is not scared about taking chances. They're, they don't think about the long-term effects. This person only thinks short term. They do not care about taking risk. They don't think about the aftermath. They live in the moment. Somebody could end up going to jail, you know, with this um, Eight of Swords. Somebody, again, could also be delusional, suffering from some type of mental health um, disorder. And definitely, if... if anybody is going through any type of mental health struggle you know make sure that you get the help for it um there's nothing taboo about it it's a lot of people that um suffer from many things and getting the help can only you know improve your life so let's get you some advice for your love messages and then we'll move on to career Give me some love advice for the Divine Feminine. Yeah, and I feel like when this person comes in and tries to offer sex, they're going to be rejected. Or this is what has already happened. They came in, offered sex, and they were rejected. 
I have um, don't pressure him, let him move at his own pace. So yeah, don't try to, you know, rush a relationship, a connection. Just allow the relationship to take its course. You know, when you rush into things, um, kind of jump into bed with people, um, you end up in situations like this because you really don't get to know the person. So just make sure that you, you know, uh, do your research before you get entwined with anyone because you don't want to end up you know in a situation where somebody's like you know threatening you or obsessed or stalking you and it also gives you a chance to see you know whether or not you're wasting your time or if you need to move on give me one more message please for the divine feminine overall advice for the Divine Feminine. Overall advice. For the Divine Feminine. What do I have? Make him feel wanted. So yeah. Um, I'm hearing open your heart. Or open my heart by Yolanda Adams. So yes. Um, make whoever you're with feel wanted. Um, be careful, you know, not to push someone away. Um, make sure that if you're like, you're saying that, yes, I'm, I'm ready to date. Um, I'm ready for love. I'm ready, you know, for something new that that's actually what you mean. You know, let your actions align with your words so that, you know, you don't give mixed signals. Yes, that's very important here. Make sure you're not giving mixed signals to someone. Because, you know, on one hand, it could push someone away. And on the other hand, you know, if somebody, you know, feels like they're in a relationship with you or there's a chance to be in a higher level of commitment and then they don't get what they want, then this can happen. Somebody can become obsessed. So Divine Feminine, let's move into your career messages. Spirit, give me some career energy for the Divine Feminine. Career messages for the Divine Feminine. What's going on in the Divine Feminine's career? Oh, I have the Eight of Cups. So somebody could be thinking about walking away from a job, so, you know, switching careers here. Somebody um is going to search after their ninth cup. They're being guided to do so, guided to leave a situation. <clears throat> somebody wants something that's balanced, equal give and take. Somebody wants to feel, you know, happy when they go to work. I feel like there's definitely a cycle that has come to a close when it comes to somebody's career or job setting. Give me another energy, please, for the Divine Feminine. Oh, the devil. Yeah, somebody, uh, Capricorn Energy. So somebody works, like, in a toxic work environment or has, like, you know, toxic co-workers, a supervisor. Yeah, but I feel like um, with the World card, there's definitely a cycle that is closing, yeah, Six of Swords, Judgment. Somebody's definitely being guided away from this situation, from this work environment. It's like God is sounding the horn, like it's time to go. Somebody like has a lot of protection here. I feel like um, there are things going on behind the scenes, Divine Feminine, that you don't know about. So that's why you're being carried away from this work environment. Give me another message. One more message for the... Divine Feminine. One more message for the Divine Feminine, please. Mm. Yep, the Ten of Cups. So, wherever you're headed, it's definitely going to be very fulfilling for you. You know, this is you getting, you know, exactly what you want. And I feel like with this Two of Cups, this is definitely an alignment. This with your purpose. This is a part of your life's path, your destiny here. With the moon energy, I feel like um, we have Gemini here. Um, we have Pisces, Cancer. I'm sorry. 
this is the two of cups i'm thinking this was the lovers but we have pisces cancer with the moon but it's like you don't even see this coming you don't even see this new opportunity this divine opportunity coming towards you here um i just feel like everything is just in alignment Everything is happening the way it's supposed to happen, Divine Feminine. Yeah, with the full Aquarius energy, you're being guided to embark upon this new path. Yes, with strength, you're being guided to be very bold, to trust the process. Yeah, trust God in this situation because it's like where you're being led, this is, this is going to be life-changing. I heard like, you know, your wildest dreams is going to be fulfilled here. Because you're taking a chance on yourself. You're being willing to try something new. Um, I'm getting like photography. Um, somebody can be in like production. Somebody could be wanting like to produce like videos, movies. Like somebody's just very creative. Somebody's into the creative arts here. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups for the Divine Feminine. The Eight of Cups for the Divine Feminine. What's going on with the Eight of Cups for the Divine Feminine? Okay, ooh, the King of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. So, yes, um, you're headed in a brand new direction here. It's like you're cutting out the past. I feel like wherever you were, you are, you've changed, you've grown as much as you are going to, Divine Feminine. And now it's time for you to take action. Yes, Page of Pentacles. You have a brand new opportunity that is going to be given to you. With this Two of Swords and Seven of Cups, you don't see this coming whatsoever. Like, you have no idea what is coming towards you. With the Star Energy Aquarius, you could have some type of platform, be in the spotlight, or just get a lot of attention for the hard work that you do. You know, people notice you. I feel like for some of you, this could have to do with traveling. Um, you could have a job where you travel a lot. I'm getting like a flight attendant, a stewardess here. Tell me more about this page of Pentacles for the Divine Feminine. Look at this. Two of Cups. Yes. When I say this is just like a perfect match, like this job, this career is going to fit you perfectly. Yeah. With the Ace of Wands, you're definitely being guided to move on. God is literally giving you the clearance to say, you know, I'm out of here. Let's go. You know, God is saying, come on, like, look, what's, look at what is waiting on you. You know, a new venture. God is opening up a new path for you. And I feel like with this magician energy, um, Gemini and Virgo, you manifested this new opportunity and now it's here. Tell me more about the King of Swords. For the Divine Feminine. Yep, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's presenting you with a new opportunity. I feel like with this King of Swords, somebody has been watching you for a very long time. And they like the work that you do. Like this person is making a decision. For some of you, like this is like um, partnership. Somebody wants to partner with you when it comes to business. Yeah, but somebody has already made up their mind and they're going to be bringing you an offer. A new opportunity. Tell me about the devil for the divine feminine. Yeah, but somebody does something in film here, like um, studio production, you know, um, media. Tell me about the devil for the divine feminine. Somebody could also be working in the medical field. The Ace of Cups. Tell me more about this devil energy.
the Knight of Pentacles. So somebody could have been trying to slow this new opportunity down for you. Yeah, somebody didn't want you to get this. This blessing from the divine from above here. Yeah. I feel like whatever this person has done, Ten of Swords, the world, it's over for that. Like whatever they've been trying to do is over. It's like with this, everything is fine. They're just going to have to accept the fact that whatever they've been trying to do is not working. This opportunity is coming in because Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles is a gift from God. And you cannot stop God here. This opportunity is coming in any way because it's, it's meant, it's destined for you to have this. So prepare to receive communication regarding this Divine Feminine. Five of Swords, somebody's just in competition with you and trying to stir up drama so you can miss this. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. What is this? Yeah, the four of swords. So listen, somebody been stressed out about what you getting. <laughs> so listen, the five feminine, somebody stressing out over what you getting. They ain't focused on themselves and their life and whatever opportunities God have for them. They worried about the opportunities that God have for you. Look, five of swords back at the bottom of the day, trying to start drama, trying to win at all costs. For some of you, this could be somebody who is competing for you. I mean, this could be someone who is competing for the same position as you and they want to win and they'll do anything to, to get this win too. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, I'm getting like this person just don't want you to be the boss. So somebody may not want you to be over them. Somebody feels some kind of way. You having more power than they do. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles, please. For the Divine Feminine. The Knight of Pentacles. For the Divine Feminine. Look at this. The Ten of Cups. Again, listen. So something may have been coming in slowly, but... It's yours. You're meant to have this. This is you. You're getting what you want. Period. Point blank. You're still getting what you want. This brand new beginning, this brand new offer for some of you, um, you may have to move for this new offer. I'm also getting somebody's going to be able to purchase a new home. Yeah, like this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity that somebody is getting and somebody tried to stop it for you. And now they're stressed out. Look, 10 of wands, this person burdened about what's coming in for you. Uh, somebody worried about what you getting. Give me some energy for this 10 of cups. Tell me about the 10 of cups for the divine feminine. What do I have? The Four of Pentacles. For some of you, you need to like protect this opportunity and you're going to do that simply by just keeping it to yourself. Don't tell a lot of people about this Divine Feminine. And if you can, don't tell anyone at all. I'm getting with the Six of Swords. You need to move in silence. You need to move in silence. So, yeah, don't tell anyone. If you have to tell anyone, let it be like, you know, minimal, you know, maybe just your your closest family member. Yeah. For some of you, like, don't even tell your friend because sometimes, you know, family applied against you, too. But, yeah, don't don't tell your friend, you know, if you can help that. I heard somebody friend. It's just like they sister. No, don't don't, don't tell her. No. Because everybody not happy for you. Some people is okay with you as long as you stay on their level. But, you know, when you seem to be rising above them, they start to have issues. That's when that jealousy kick in. So, yeah, you're being asked to just keep this to yourself. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles, please. For the Divine Feminine.
the four of pentacles for the divine feminine where do i have judgment yeah so i'm also getting with this judgment of four of pentacles somebody's going to be going into lack yeah Somebody's going to be experiencing lack because of what they wanted for you. Somebody wanted you in lack or somebody wanted you to miss out on an opportunity. So now they have to struggle when it comes to their finances, when it comes to their opportunities. Yeah. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Now give me one more on this Four of Pentacles and we'll go to the Six of Swords. Give me one more on the Four of Pentacles, please, for the Divine Feminine. Yep, look at that. Three of Swords. Listen, somebody heartbroken. Somebody in their feels. They're in their feelings about you and what you get in. Yeah, and somebody's also suffering in silence. Yeah, somebody's not letting anyone know what they're going through. Somebody's really going through a lot of harsh endings, a lot of judgment. They're having financial challenges. It's like robbing Peter to pay Paul. But somebody's suffering in silence. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. For the divine feminine. The six of swords for the divine feminine. Yeah, five of wands. So yeah, it was a lot of competition, a lot of pettiness, cattiness. And it's like God just <laughs> guided you away or is guiding you away from the drama. Yeah, and this new opportunity is what's allowing you to move away from it all. Yeah, somebody's just been trying to block you, hold you up, slow you down, bring drama to your door. Give me one more for the Six of Swords. One more message for the Six of Swords for the Divine Feminine. Look at, I can't make another five. Listen, five of swords, five of one. Somebody very hateful and jealous. Yeah, that's that win it all call. Somebody wanted you to be in this three of swords. Somebody wanted you to be upset, you know, not to have enough. And now with this judgment, it's happening to them. Because you, your spirit team already on it. You don't already moved away from this or you are moving away from this because something is just too much. There's somebody or a group of people that is just toxic. Yeah. And I feel like with um the sun, light is being shed on this person or on these people. Leo energy again. The devil, Capricorn energy. Light is being shed on just how toxic someone is or just how toxic a group of people is. The higher fun, Taurus energy. God. God is in the house. God is all up in the mix. So let's pull you a final message, Divine Feminine. Spirit, give me a final message for the Divine Feminine. A final message for the Divine Feminine, please. What overall energy do you have? Look at that. Beautiful. Like your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn. So yes, Cap um, I was going to say Capricorn. Somebody could be a Capricorn and have it highly placed in their chart. But yes, whatever you've been doing is paying off. People can see. You can see. You're living it. You're living it, Capricorn. I'm I'm sorry, I keep saying, somebody's a Capricorn here, but you're living it, Divine Feminine. Your hard work is showing your dedication. You're starting to see it. For some of you, little by little, but you are seeing it. You're going to get far. Just continue to um, pour into yourself, invest in your future here. And then at the bottom, I have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. So, yeah. And what are we dealing with? North, south, north node, south node here. Capricorn and cancer. So, something could deal with like um, a cancer, sun, 
you know, Capricorn North Node or Capricorn Sun, Cancer North Node. But yeah, it's like whatever issues that you've been dealing with, for some of you, an issue when it comes to a relationship, a connection or interference on your job, there's going to be a resolution to it. Like I said, God is all up in the mix, you know. <laughs> People think they have control until God steps in, you know. Yeah, you have free will, but you also have consequences depending on what you choose. Your consequences can either be positive or negative, but you will have consequences. And there will be a resolution to whatever situation you're enduring. So, these are your messages, Divine Feminine. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.